A very good afternoon to you all. Thank you for watching UBC TV. This is the lunchtime news this 15th day of July 2022 and I am your news anchor Wadulo Mark Arnold will be running with you. Government has launched an online portal to facilitate automation of occupational safety and health management services countrywide. Dubbed Occupational Safety and Health Management Information Services, the tool is envisaged, among others, to downsize on paperwork, mitigate injuries suffered at workplaces, as well as facilitating whistleblower protection. While officiating at the launch of the Uganda at the launch at the Uganda Media Center in Kampala, the State Minister for Gender, Labor and Social Development, Peace Mutuzo, underscored the need for Ugandans to utilize it for purposes of promoting acceptable and safe working environments everywhere. Even with reports of poor internet accessibility in some parts of the country, Minister Mutuzo remained optimistic that this platform will quench the ministry's thirst to fully deliver on her mandate to ensure safe workplaces for all. The Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Occupational Safety and Health at the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Adong Francis Jimoro, offered guidance on accessibility and usability of this platform. These are some of the highlights. In the recent years, the ministry is now dealing with huge amounts of information.